Art auctioneering is a career that combines content skills, knowledge of products to be sold, with process skills. The ability to appraise then sell those products combined with a high level of financial literacy. I'm the lead auctioneer. I am the auctioneer. I am the head appraiser. I am responsible for uh, cataloging and overseeing the, the data entry. We, we, uh, I do estate visits. I'm doing appraisals. Um, I am trying to train up people, but I'm also in charge of the, the entire staff. I'm kind of like fearless leader. Deborah Gray's career began with formal art school training. I was in my second year at the Cleveland Art Institute. Um, I lost my scholarship and I decided I was going to go that journey and find some apprentice work. I, I worked in steel, um, I worked in cement, I did, some, I did some traveling, I went to Israel, did a kibbutz, did some crazy things. And then when I came back, I called up the local auction house and I asked them if they needed any go for help. And they were like, what? And I'm like, I'm, I'm yours, I'll do anything. I love art. And I started off on the phones uh, and I worked uh, on answering the phones and then I, they said, well, can you, can you help on the floor? And I'm like, oh yeah. And I worked my way up and I learned the most at, a, at an auction house. And I've worked for three other auction houses. You know, after Wolf's, I went to Leslie Hinman in Chicago, worked there, and then I ended up at Sotheby's. And now, you know, after three auction houses, it was time for me to start my own. You know, you learn by touching it and by talking to the old timers that used to collect it. And, and you go and you do these estates, and I would shadow the experts, and I started learning. Now, you also have to go to an auctioneer school. While jumping in feet first at an auction house was Deborah's path to art auctioneering, there's a formal educational process to follow. Mark Walton is a professional auctioneer who operates a school that teaches auctioneering, licensed by the state of Ohio. To get ready to become an auctioneer, uh, of course you have to attend an approved auctioneering school. Uh, once you've uh, passed that school, you need to secure a sponsoring auctioneer. That somebody's going to take you basically under their wing for the next year. You go and you take a, a, a written test to become an apprentice auctioneer, which is its own license. Uh, then you'll apprenticeship for 12 months. Uh, you can go longer, you just can't go shorter. Uh, and in that, in that apprenticeship period, you have to participate as an active bid caller in 12 different auctions. Once you've fulfilled the requirements of your apprenticeship, and of course you need to be bonded both as an apprentice and as an auctioneer, um, you fill out your bond, you fill out your paperwork, you go to sit for the auctioneer's exam. The auctioneer's exam is two-part, uh, both written and oral. The oral portion you're going to get in front of the state auctioneer's uh, uh, commission and you're going to sell an item in front of them. They want to see what you sound like, you know, what your poise is, what your pacing is, uh, do you know where it's sold to, how much it's sold for, did you repeat it twice, those types of things that they're looking for. Just to make sure you're competent in what you're doing before they release you into the general public as a licensed auctioneer. Auctioneers are often small business owners, but some work under contract with established auction houses. They bring to the job both content skills, the knowledge of the products they sell, such as pieces of art, antiques, real estate, or automobiles, and process skills, the ability to get the best price at auction for the items they are selling. Some people are experts in toys, some people are experts in antiques, those types of things, and they'll generally gravitate towards what their expertise is and they'll combine that with the process skills they learn in class of how to market, how to advertise, how to conduct the auction, how to account for it. They put the two, the content and the process skills together and then they have a marketable uh, a business that differentiates itself from others. In Ohio, it takes 80 actual classroom hours to become a licensed auctioneer in addition to the apprenticeship requirement. To prepare for auctioneer school, you should take business and marketing oriented courses and any course that would give you knowledge about the special types of auctions you might eventually run. Deborah Gray's specialty is art auctioneering. An auction house is like an emergency room for art on a full moon on a Friday night. It's crazy. We go at such a pace that it's not for everybody. Uh, uh, but we're where it's at. We have our finger on the pulse of the art world, and, and literally the art world, because we're, we're tied uh, globally. But we're also dealing with every type of art. Fair warning, sold 4,400 to live auctioneers. 
the auction world is based on the five, maybe it's even six Ds now. And it's death, debt, divorce, downsizing, dealers, dementia. And these are all really crazy situations. Not the dealers so much, but the dementia and the downsizing and the, the divorce. People can't take it with them. And so we are like an island, and they bring it to the referee. And we're, we, there's a journey. When you're done using that art, art or piece of art or furniture, and it's time to bring it to the next owner, this is the, the journey. This is the passageway. Auction means fair market. And it means what a willing buyer and a willing seller can come to an agreement upon. And it's those two people that do decide. And I, as the auctioneer, am like a referee between the buyer and the seller. Now, this is very different than retail. Retail is what the market will bear. It's not necessarily fair. Fair warning and selling for $100. Sold. And finally, If you can spend, earn your stripes in the auction world, you can do anything. You can start your own gallery. You could work in a museum. You can handle just about anything. Or you could start your own auction house, which is what I did. Running art or other kinds of auctions can be a rewarding, often exciting career, especially for people with entrepreneurial ambition and selling skills.